go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 49, and this is war number 11. One war away from the end. And we're going up against an alliance called Universo Galactico. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I, it's almost like at the tip of my brain. Universal, so like universe, galaxy, something like that. All right. Who did they ban? Oh, Bishop. I'm telling you, Bishop's probably going to be banned um, globally next uh, season. We got Sunspot and Kushala. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, so right off the bat, he's going to benefit. Now, I, I noticed that that uh, some of the alliances do this, and it's a, it's a pretty decent strategy. They'll have an alternating, so you can't just use one champ for both, or they try to, right? Because I could use Namor for both of these. Um, and I just might. Let's see what else we got. All right, so we have, now, he can be fun because armor breaks don't, they stay, but they don't work. So he's going to keep his armors. So really, you want somebody that's bleed immune. Corvus would probably not be a good option for that. Um, enough of the bleeds and Corvus will go down very quickly. So, I probably will end up bringing Claire. Now, for Ironheart, that could be Corvus. So, it could also be Claire, probably. So right now I'm thinking um, Corvus, because Corvus can do that um, that uh, Warlock fight, and that would give him a charge, you know, for the uh, tech. Then I can use Claire to take out that um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. I can use Claire for this Nimrod. I can use Corvus for Ironheart. And that frees me up. Hmm. Well, Iceman, let me... Because I've already seen that I can't go by that little symbol. But I don't think Iceman is Magic Thief. So Corvus can do that fight. So that still gives me a uh, open spot. Let's see. Can probably take, well. Claire might be able to take this one. Let me see. Regeneration. If um if that Nova Hmm. Yeah, if if this Nova can um be nullified 
Then yeah. Gains the placebo. Okay, yeah. I mean, I could possibly do that one as well and still have an open spot. Uh, let me see. Prowess build up, power snack. So I could probably take this fight. It's immediately nullified and they gain power. So, hmm. Yeah, could possibly do that one as well. So, all right, I got the plan. I've got uh, Corvus and I've got Claire. And as far as who else I'll bring, it really depends on how many I, I can take here. Because I might bring someone else for that Nova or someone else for uh, that red goblin so we shall see let me look here because i could also mm, these are usually annoying shock and bleed see corvus can do that um but of course maestro is very annoying so yeah, I might um, offer to take Nova and Iceman. And we'll see. All right, let's get to the fighting. So I'm going in with Corvus, Void, and Claire. Now, we already know why Corvus is coming in, but Void, I want to try Void against that uh nova on that node because he gets you know um he gets a lot of regen and even though my void is not awakened i think he can still do it if i remember correctly you know the awakened ability you know will give him that extra debuff i forgot what it's called now um but I have a point in despair and um, I don't think I, I took on any of the other debuff related masteries, but just one point in despair should be enough. It should be enough. All right. So I'm boosting up. I'm using these boosts. It's the end of the season. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and use these. We got six hours. Um, Usually the reason that I, I like to wait is so that they can already use their energy. And then when I come in, I can just do my fights on one boost. But with these, doesn't really matter. All right. So you can see here what I'm doing. Boosting up with Corvus. And not a lot. Not a lot. And this is not Mystic, so we should be good. And it's not a 200% boost, just a 150 and the 8% damage. So let's see how that goes, all right? So I'm not afraid of Warlock, not with Corvus. Boom, took away his armor. Just look at this. Just racing to get there. I, I wanted to do a special two right there, by the way, but... I jumped the gun, got too happy, because I was like, oh, wait, he's about to die before I can even get to my special two. So I kind of rushed it and, and then fired the special one instead. But it's all good. 11 seconds, not bad. Not bad for Corvus. All right, now, this guy here, I wanted to use Claire because he is Magic Thief. And she is Ex Magica. So, we good. All right, here we go. Look at this, look at this. I'm like, what, what is all that? What is going on? So, I'm just getting hit, right? 
and y'all can't see it, but I'm doing my best to block or swipe or something, and it's not happening. I'm just like, all right, cool. We're still good. We're still in there. Okay. Here we go. Yep. We rocking in. You can see I'm playing a little bit more tentatively because I can't trust my inputs. I'm like, swipe. And she stands there. So I'm like, okay, so if I'm trying to do a combo, is it going to do the combo? I don't know. So swipe. Hey, it worked. Okay, good, good. Anyway, he's down. He's not a, a tough defender. He used to be before we learned how to um, dex his specials. Other than that, pretty good. Now, this is a sneaky defender here. So you might think that Corvus would be great for this. Parry, armor break, bam. You don't have to worry about the node because he wouldn't have an armor up. Nimrod especially has a feature. He's not immune to armor break. You can armor break him. They just don't do anything. So even though I might armor break him, he's going to retain his armor ups and it would wreck Corvus. It's happened to me before. However, Claire can nullify that. But she doesn't really need to because she can stay in bleed. And let me tell you, I was sitting there going, no! Because <laughs> I'm like, not unblockable. Come on, stop it! But I evaded that one. I just wasn't ready for that first one. So as you can see, I can evade it. But look at my health. I'm like, what, what, wait, wait. What, what's going on? He got some kind of radiation I don't know about. So I pushed him to a special two, hoping that I could evade it a little bit easier than the unblockable special one. He doesn't have his thing up. But look, look at my health. I'm like, what, 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 Guan? So I wasn't quite sure what was happening here. But here we go again, unblockable. And he clipped me there. I'm like, man. This is not going the way I had planned it. She's losing way more health. Okay. So I'm just like, all right, we getting them. So if you know what was happening there, let me know in the comments. Because I saw um, I saw the shocks. But let's see. Yeah. My, my own ouchies were doing the most. But what was the other damage I was taking? Not sure. So now we've got Ironheart, who is actually uh, growing on me. I like her. But she's not going to like what Corvus does to her. Because, yeah. Armor break. Uh, yeah, armor break. And done. He beat her like she stole something from him. Mm. Just swatted her. Just swatted her. Just, just, ugh. Like, was that even a fight? Nah. All right. Now, we've got another fight here. And this fight, I'm going to warn you guys now, is sloppy. It's sloppy. It's ugly. You're going to look and say, does he even know how to play this game? But don't worry. So, this is the one that I brought void for, all right? Personal space regeneration. So I'm thinking, all right, I already know that I'm running, you know, recoil. So I'm gonna take a lot of recoil damage because he needs to fire off a lot of specials, special ones. So I know I'm gonna take a lot of damage, okay? And so you see, I didn't wanna take any extra damage. So I boosted a little bit um, with an in, uh, invulnerability. And pretty much my goal now is to just spam him with special ones and hope that works and then stay close to him to reverse his uh, healing. Now, there is one thing. Look at this. Why did I get hit? You know how many times I have evaded that? And look at this. I'm just like, really? Really? Now, Void is Ex Magica, 
You would have needed an X Magicka, and so he was perfect for this. All right, but just look at look at this fight. It's going well. You can see just how good uh, Void is for this. But you know, without look, look at this, I'm getting hit with everything, everything. My timing was just off. This is not inputs. This is me just playing bad. I'm like, I don't believe this. So here we go. Boom, boom. You see? Because I already saw I wasn't doing well. Look at my health. Look at his health. But as long as I keep these on, we good. All right? Yep, yep. Here we go. And done. Ugly, ugly fight, but he still managed to do it, unawakened. So if anybody tells you that Void is not good unawakened, refer them to this. He can still get the job done. And I was running the Ouchie Masteries. So, yeah, still good, still good. Now, if I can awaken him, that'll give me, um, what is it, Fear of the Void? Is that what it's called? Which will allow me to do even more. But as you can see, you can still get stuff done with him. And then this fight, I already knew how this was going to go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Get on back there. Bam. Yeah, buddy. You ain't got nothing. By the way, Corvus don't care about that cold snap. He don't care about none of that. He don't care about his armor. He don't care about nothing. Just ripping. That's it. Corvus just bullied him. That's what he did. All right. So that was the last fight for me in this war. And we'll be back in a moment. And you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So let's go down here. You can see the score. It wasn't one of those nail biters. All right. Shout out to our MVPs, as always. But that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the fights, everything. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.